All right, y'all, I'm out the beer lease, doing a lot of work today. And one of the projects that I've got is getting this daggum tractor tire to hold air. It went flat. I don't know what actually caused it to go flat. I think it might be the valve. It's got a little adapter that makes it take a standard air compressor filler upper nozzle. Point is, is it went flat. We got to get it to not be flat anymore. So I finally got the tire and wheel off the tractor and now I'm trying to get it to hold air. I've been sitting on it with the air compressor for 30 minutes trying to get it to pop the bead because as you can see, it lost its bead on both sides and it will not find its bead. I mean, it's got little gap around the edges and it will not seat itself. I've been jumping on it, pressing on it, even at the Heimlich maneuver, trying to get this thing to hold air. It won't do it. So I've got an idea to try to get this thing to reset the beads. Here it is. I'm gonna take this big old heavy duty ratchet strap and I'm gonna strap it all the way around the tire as tight as I can. And hopefully what that does is squeezes enough that it pushes the sides of the walls of the tire out enough that the bead will set. And I can get this thing to take some air and either figure out where the hole is and patch it or know if I need to get a new tire or is it just the valve and I need to get the new valve adapter that has a little gasket on it. Let's get this ratchet strap put on this tire and see what happens. Wish me luck. At first glance, it's a lot more squeezed on there. Let's get the air compressor hose, see if she'll take some air. Worked like a charm. Beads reset. I'm gonna get back in there, take the ratchet strap off, finish filling the tire with air. If I can find the leak and fix it. Hope this helped you reset the bead on your tractor tire or any other tire for that matter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.